How does dairy affect our health? Well, it depends on the type of dairy and what you're comparing it to, and this new systematic review and meta-analysis of prospective studies does an excellent job of highlighting that. They included 34 publications from 15 cohorts in the USA, Europe, and Asia, with an average follow-up time of 18.1 years. Regarding cardiovascular health, they found that replacing dairy products with red meat in the diet was associated with a higher risk of cardiovascular outcomes like coronary heart disease and stroke, whereas replacing butter with olive oil or replacing cheese with avocados was associated with a lower risk of some outcomes. For type 2 diabetes, the replacement of low-fat dairy products with either processed or unprocessed red meat was associated with a higher risk while eggs also appeared to increase risk compared to yogurt or cheese. And finally, the replacement of butter with olive oil was associated with a lower risk of all-cause mortality, which is the total risk of dying from all causes combined during the included studies, with similar results for the replacement of overall dairy products with whole grains. Further, swapping out yogurt specifically with either nuts or whole grains was also associated with a lower risk, whereas replacing yogurt with red or processed meat was associated with a higher risk. And without going through every single finding, the results are generally in line with what I've summarized. Compared to red or processed meat, and sometimes even eggs, dairy products are generally a healthier choice, particularly low-fat dairy and yogurt. But compared to whole grains, nuts, and avocados, dairy products may be a less healthy choice, at least for the outcomes that were studied here. Now what I'd like to see in the future is a similar similar analysis on plant-based dairy alternatives like plant-based milks and yogurts because that's the type of swap that a lot of people are making.